there's a uh, there's a small discrepancy. I couldn't quite figure it out, and I was hoping maybe you could explain it. I suppose I can try. Okay. Yeah, we uh, we got the final toxicology report, and your wife definitely didn't die from the pills. She wasn't conscious past 9.30, but, uh, you know, it was the fumes that killed her. Hallelujah. Thanks for the update. Yeah, Martin, Martin, hey, easy. Come on, this is harassment here. Uh, just please. Uh, please. We'll see. Here, here's what I wanted to ask. Uh, the gas tank in the Jag was almost completely full. Only about a gallon of fuel had been used. And? Well, if uh, she was unconscious by 9.30, that means that the car would have been running for at least two hours by the time you found her. And uh, an unconscious person can't, you know, turn on a car, right? Detective, with all due respect, could you uh, get to the point? Th that's the part where I get kind of confused, you see. In that model Jaguar, if, uh, if you were to leave it idling for two hours, it would burn at least uh, four gallons of fuel, you see? So it, it, doesn't, it doesn't really seem like there's any way that the, the gas tank could be uh, full if it had been running for two hours, right? So I, I guess, you know, what I'm, what I'm asking is, you know, whose idea was to put her in the car? Martin, Martin, don't, don't say anything. Look, Mr. Tannen, I know that you're the person that has the most to gain from your wife's death, but I've also learned from talking to her friends that she and Minnie had a pretty strained relationship. Uh, excuse me, what's your first name again? It's Dwight. Listen, Dwight, do I look like the kind of guy who's gonna allow my client to sit here and listen to these questions in these circumstances? Don't insult my intelligence, Dwight. Just cut to the chase. Okay, I'd just like for Mr. Tannen to know that if he's trying to be a protective father by covering up something Minnie might have done, I'd really think twice about it. I really would. Because the DA in this case, he's viewing it, you know, as kind of an opportunity to show the public that the rich can't get away with murder in this town. Does this mean that he's offering Mr. Tan an immunity if he says he was protecting his daughter? Yeah, that's a strong possibility. But he also wants Mr. Tan to know that if he doesn't do it, he's gonna go for the maximum sentence. No manslaughter, no plea bargain, nothing. It was Colonel Mustard in the library with the candlestick. Uh, Miss Drogues, is your lawyer, I think that Don't I Don't wet your pants. I know when to shut up and swallow. Look, uh, <clears throat> the fact that the marriage was unhappy and that there was no prenup, that gives all the motive to Martin, okay? So you want me to say it was his idea? Well, if it was his idea, can you give me one good reason why you should take the fall? So you're saying if I tell the jury it was his idea and I was scared for my life because he said he'd kill me if I ever told anyone, then I walk? Sorry, sport, but I'll take my chances. <laughs>